Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing the second half of my Watt Sold which will be for last weekend, June 30th through July 2nd. Got not as many sales as the previous week but I had some really good sales so it kind of it still helped with my numbers overall um, so I, I was very happy. You know my sales are continuing to be good and you know you can't complain when you can say your sales are good. Now today is the day that all of our postage, the whole USPS reset. Um, I think I'm lucky in the fact that I do flat rate shipping for first class. So I'm going to be able to be, I'm going to be able to go into my active listings and sort by my shipping. And then I can just, you know, everything that I sold, you know, in the first class, I will be able to. I'm probably going to stick to like 500 at a time and go ahead and change them over. I think I'm also going to bump my flat rate shipping up just a tad um, because I haven't changed my prices in years. So I think it's time for me just to, I think 20 cents. That's all I'm going to bump it up is 20 cents. Um, but it's not going to be so bad. You know, for those of you who do calculated shipping across the board and you don't have business policies you're going to just kind of have to get in there and pick the first class ones out of there and get them changed um, but it's it's going to be effort it's going to take a bit so good luck y'all good luck you know i don't understand you know why it has to be so cumbersome but you know it's a fact of life Every time there's major changes, it falls on us to fix it. Y'all, and you know, Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law, the minute my sales start picking up and I'm thinking, ooh, I'm planning a vacation. I want to go down to Florida. Our mower caught on fire. I live on four acres, so we have to have a mower. This place would turn into just wild blackberries if we didn't keep the grass cut down so we had to go out and buy a new mower so that wasn't fun this week but it, it was inevitable it was getting older so we got a new fancy schmancy one all right let me get to my sales for this past weekend i had sales on all four platforms which is good um only the one on Etsy. Etsy's my thing that I'm just kind of contemplating whether I want to continue using it, but every once in a while I get a decent sale, so maybe I'll hold on to it through fourth quarter and then I may reevaluate. But I had two sales to share with you from Mercari. This first one is a Russ Troll doll. Pretty sure it came from the high bid estate sale that I won two years ago. I'm still selling stuff out of that. Um, this troll had the hard head and the cloth body it sold for fifteen dollars fisher price little people um this just elephant and giraffe set sold for nine dollars and if you guys are new to my channel i don't do free shipping on any of the platforms so when i say somebody paid nine dollars they also did pay it additional for shipping this next item is from poshmark it is a reaction kenneth cole men's shirt sold for twelve dollars this Dakin White Rabbit plush from 1989 sold for $30. Y'all, the funny thing about this is I noticed that I had this offer and I went, I couldn't find it on eBay. So I went over to my, the bin that it was supposed to be in and it was there. So I was able to use this perfectly to cross list it from Poshmark back into eBay. Um, I accidentally list, um, deleted a hundred listings and plus I'm doing my inventory right now and there's always dropped listings, um, that for some reason eBay has dropped. So I'm, I can't even blame eBay on this one because I accidentally deleted a hundred, which is why I'm really trying to get this inventory moving right along. But it was good that I was able to find it and then cross list it back to eBay and then it still sold. Then it sold on Poshmark a couple of weeks later. It didn't sell the original time. And then this. 
This is a brand we had never heard of, but you could just tell it was quality. It is Roback. Funny thing is, is Kaylee Elaine had talked about this brand um, recently also. Um, so I was kind of happy that we had one of these high-end men's shirts. I ended up taking an offer of $70 for it on Poshmark. And then my one and only sell on Etsy was this First Skins Bear Plush. It's a beekeeper with all of its stuff. Um, from 1984, it sold for $26.95. I pick up most Lovies that are in good condition. A lot of them are bread and butter. Um, this particular Carter's um, Just One You Bear Lovie sold for $16.95. Build a Bear. Y'all, I marked down a whole bunch of my old inventory. This is one of those items too. Um, so I'm glad to see this stuff moving out so that I have room to put new inventory in. Um, this 15 inch rabbit sold for $8.34. A lot of bread and butter. This is a Christmas around the world nativity set. I picked it up at an estate sale um, for $10 and realized something was either missing or broken. I don't remember. So I just went ahead and parted it out. I put the wise men together. I put the, the holy family together. I put the animals together. Um, and this is the first two to, to sell and they went for $14.25. Guess how much I love you rabbit plush from 1994 sold for $7.57. I pick up quite a few of the string lights um, and a lot of times I just pull the the, the, the light cover off of the, the light and don't even sell the lights. You, they can get their own newer um, light string lights. So I just pulled the covers off. These were some m, &M minis. I actually think they weren't even complete because there's only 39 of them. Still sold for $24.22. Peanuts Charlie Brown Musical Plush. It was MTY International. Sold for $12.07. Devils sell. Devils and clowns. and Anything like that. I do really, really well with them. Aliens. Definitely keep your eyes out for aliens. This is a Dandy International Little Red Devil Plush. Um, sold for $32.32. .32. Let me tell you a story. This is a Robert thing. They sat over here forever waiting for him to pack them. Um, it's a Homco, little, uh, just an old man and woman, 13 inch figure. I had a buyer keep sending me lowball offers after lowball offers, complaining about the shipping, complaining about the price, sending me pictures of his collection of these. Finally, he sent me an offer of $55. I had wanted $70. Um, I just thought, make it gone. Make it gone. You know, I've got an avid collector who wants this item. Just do it. Soon as he gets it, it's broken. I'm like, send me a picture. Oh, wait, the initial message said it's broken and I can't fix it. The chicken's broken off. I was like, send me a picture. You know, that's what we're supposed to ask so that we can hopefully file a claim with the post office because y'all, Robert's a good packer. I know it was packed well. Um, then he sends me a message immediately back saying, oh, I glued it back together. I've not responded. I don't even know what I'm going to respond. It's been three days. I'm just going to wait and see what his next step is. I just keep saying, open a return open a return. That's all I'm going to keep saying. If he wants, if it's broken, just send it back to me. But it just seems like the people who just are persistent with the lowball offers tend to be problems. Anybody else out there have the same thoughts on it? But so far, nothing back. This is a viewer sale, so... <laughs> All I can do is say the person's name that's on the order. If it's not Joseph, if it's a, you know, a spouse or somebody else who ordered it, I'm sorry. You know, when you leave me a note in the orders, you know, 
leave me a name also. But if this was Joseph, thank you very much for the order. He said his daughter collects the Wells Fargo's and they wanted to help me out. So they went ahead and purchased um, this legendary horse from that series um, for $7.57. Mulan, 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 Rody, Rattlefish, Plush, $7.57. Now, I'm a lot of bread and butter. I mean, that's even less than my bread and butter, but I'm glad to see stuff moving. Behringer doll. These are the little 8-inch dolls. Um, I decided to put the two together. Look at those faces. Aren't they just adorable? They did have some discoloration on them. Um, sold for $11, best offer. Chantilly Lane. These are musical plush usually. This one's dressed up as a nurse. Um, sometimes the mouths work and then sometimes they don't. So I'm not always sure if it should have worked. I just make sure that um, if I, this was listed I think before I was doing videos, I just say the mouth did not move, the music plays, and just hopefully they read the description before they buy it. Um, sold for $9.00. Again, another old one. Lego minifigure. They are over six months, so I'm taking most reasonable offers on it. This genie with its little Aladdin lamp sold for $5 best offer. This is from the private pick estate sale that I picked up all that wonderful plush. This was a Russ Snowden 15 inch bear. Sold for $15 best offer. Walgreens. I love picking up Walgreens, CVS, any of these, um, Rite Aid, any of these um, drugstore plush. They tend to do so well for me. Um, this sheep sold for $10.45. This is like three videos in a row, I think, where I have sold these utensil sets. This set was Sears. I just picked it up recently. Um, it was the fork, a ladle, and a right angle masher. They sold for $32. Disney Sleeping Beauty play set from 1992. Didn't have any of the figures. Um, sold for best offer of $10. Disney Animal Kingdom Dinosaur um, from Dino Land sold for $9.07. Presto peel a meal electric pillar, but it also had the salad spinner attachment with it. Um, tested and worked great. Sold for $35 best offer. Y'all, I have a fly down here. It got in when we were bringing stuff in earlier, and it's, if you see me swat or shake my head in a weird way. It's because that fly keeps coming at me. Um, Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. This is a 16 inch giraffe sold for $8. Home Interiors, Noah's Ark, Hanging Wall Thing. Another one of those, y'all, I've had this forever, forever. Probably eight, nine, ten years. Somebody made a comment in one of my videos about, you know, at what point do I um, remove stuff and just redonate. I don't. I mean, there's a few exceptions, like every once in a while, especially now that I'm doing my inventory, I'll look at something and it'll be like, this doesn't need to be listed and I'll pull it. But for the most part, I feel I've spent the money. I've spent the time to do the listing, the photos, the storage. I'm just going to leave it on and just keep reducing the price. Hopefully things will sell, you know, it, this finally sold for $7.57. I made a profit on it. But I am being way more aggressive. In fact, I decided tomorrow before my, I start my sell again, I'm going to go ahead and reduce all my listings from January. Go ahead and mark them down 10% and just start doing this every month. You know, then I'll do February and then I'll do March. Um, and then in January, I will probably start with all of this old stuff again. Just reduce it by 10%. These are Bugle Boys men's long sleeve shirt sold for $11 best offer. Matilda Jane. 
I've heard of the brand. Y'all, I don't have girls. I know that they do like these mom and little girl coordinated outfits and everything. I must have picked this up at the bins or something at, because I don't normally look through the kids clothes at yard sales. Um, sold for $12.25. This is another one. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it at the bins. I mean, it's just a little three inch coin purse with Pocahontas on it. Um, so I probably 10 cents in it decided to go ahead and accept this offer of $7. Now this I'm positive I picked up at the Rochester bins when we were up there um, in May. I remember seeing another person leave with like three or four of these so I must have been in there and got to this one before that person got all the other ones but this is the Kinder Care Bear Cousins. This is Braveheart Lion 1984. I took a best offer of $20. These, all of a sudden, we're starting to sell dishes again. I went a long time where I didn't sell hardly any of them. Yes, some of the mugs, but not any of the dishes hardly at all. And then I think over the last several videos, I have started selling the dishes again. This is Hearthside Garden Festival Stoneware Salad Plates. It was a lot of six, sold for $30.70. Thai Baby Puppy from 2005. This is a little small 8 inch plush that had a rattle in it. I had never seen this plush before. Sold for best offer of $10. This typewriter. This typewriter sat underneath here forever. Forever. This is a Robert find and then we did nothing with it and one day, I mean there's still another typewriter under here that's not been dealt with. Um, one day I was like Let's pull out some of this stuff, this old stuff, and test it, get it boxed, get it ready to go. So we got this listed. Um, the comps were showing like $70, $80. You know, I always price up a little bit for sales and all of that. Um, we got an offer on it for $50. Usually when it's something like this that I know Robert has sourced, I tell him to make the decision. Do you want $50? Do you want me to counter? And we just went ahead and accepted it. So... $50. I want to say we paid just a couple bucks for it. Gerber, Lovey, another one that's been listed quite a while. Just really cute, but it just didn't sell. Um, it was part of my markdown, sold for best offer of $7. Another dish. This is a Dover York zigzag bowl. Um, Sold for $7.57. I think that was in like a fill a box or something. Or we bought something in a box from a box that we wanted and it was part of the lot. Um, this is Mary Meyer Red Lobster. Sold for $7.57. Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. Um, five inch from 2000. I pick up most things Scooby-Doo. I just, I like Scooby-Doo. This sold for $8.46. Hug Fun. It's a brand I really like. It's comparable to like Kelly Toy. I think it's good quality. Um, just, you know, a lot of my bread and butter is in that. This was a 12-inch round dog holding a donut. Sold for $15.21. Towel Pal. This had a Carnival Cruise um, paper tag with it. Um, just a terry cloth, like washcloth type rabbit plush. Hadn't been listed very long and I got an offer of $17, which I went ahead and accepted. There were other terry cloth um, towel pals listed, but I didn't see any that were the rabbits. Hug Fun. This is one of those prayer bears. I pick up a lot of them if they're clean and if they're working. Um, again, most of them are bread and butter. This one was actually also from Dollar General. Um, but Dandy does these. Um, some of the other brands have these type of bear prayer animals also. It sold for $8.46. I think we're getting into the bigs. Nope. Maybe after this. Eden Blues Clues. This is 
the puppy dog. Somebody reminded me in the comments this morning that Blue's Clues, Blue was a girl. I think I probably have referred to him as him more than once, but she is a she, and this is the 11 inch one sold for $13.45. I think I just shared this sold in my last video, of the haul video from last night. All right, some of my better, nice, nice, nice sells that just really bumped my um, dollar value up. I picked this up at a recent um, yard sale right down the road from our house. Picked up several Wiggles things, um, bought some really nice stuff there. Um, this is the Wiggles book, Do the Wiggly Shuffle. I did check to make sure that that little apparatus there in the center did work. Showed it in a video working and it sold for $49.95. Didn't even get a chance to get put on my cell. This, I think I picked this up at that same yard cell. Um, this is Mark's Creatures from the Black Lagoon. I was shocked when I saw comps on this. It's six inch Universal Studios, sold for $53.95. So definitely keep your out, so eyes out for it. It's larger than like the little, um, like soldiers and cowboys and Indian figures, but it looks similar, but it's just six inches tall and by Marks. These, y'all, these were from um, a yard sale that we went to not too long ago. We were with T and Pickers. Robert picked up just a stack of vintage jeans, and this one was in there. These were Levi's 501. Um, fly, button fly jeans. Y'all, I listed these and sold these probably in 10 minutes, so then your mind goes down that rabbit hole, but I had Robert go double check my comps, and right time, right buyer, sold for $79.68, but here's my best sale, and it's a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Donald. This was also from that private pick estate sale where I bought all the plush. Um, I did pick up a couple of Care Bear items. This um, notebook with papers and dividers, all from 1984, um, sold for $116.96. Donald did use my coupon. I do have a coupon for my viewers. So if you want to get in there and, you know, purchase anything, um, Go ahead and use Rebel Reseller 20. It gets you 20% off anything in my store. But even if you are going into um, eBay to do shopping on other platforms, if you use my link that's down in the description, I do get a small commission for anything that you purchase in the next 24 hours. So I appreciate that also. All right, not as many sales as last Monday through Thursday but some good ones, just some definitely good ones. And my, my sales are still continuing to be very good. So I'm not going to complain. I'm just keeping doing what I'm doing. All right, get to work. Bye.